Hi, and welcome back to JAM Training. Today we would like to talk about groups. Groups are going to be similar to what you might have called tags in Meraki. So groups allow you to put a, a certain set of iPads into a group, and then you can push out apps to that group. So basically, just to recap, your group is the same thing as tags in Meraki. Okay, to get started creating a group, you'll want to log into the site. Once you get logged in, and I'm at the test site today, I'm going to click on mobile devices in the top left-hand corner. And then on my navigation bar on the left, you'll notice that there are two types of groups here. We have a smart mobile device group and a static mobile device group. We're going to talk about static mobile device groups today and how to create a group there. Um, just as a very brief explanation of the difference between them, a smart mobile device group is what is called a dynamic group and the information is automatically updated. The user doesn't have to go in and add um, people to a group. It's automatically done. We're going to talk about the static mobile device groups where the user does have to go in and assign these users, which are iPads, to a group that they have created. So let's click on static mobile device groups. Okay, and you'll notice that we have created a few groups in here. To create a new one, we're going to click on the plus sign and come up with a name for our group. And please be descriptive when you're giving your name a group so people that are in your school that are also using JAMP are not wondering what in the world is that group. So we're going to make one today. We're going to call it Gate and we're going to put our Gate iPads in it. Now the next thing you need to do is under Site. Right now it's set to None. I'm going to choose Elementary Schools. Now when you're on the Live site you'll want to make sure that you choose Your School. Okay. So we have gate iPads assigned to elementary schools. So we've got the name of it. We know where what school it belongs to. Now we need to find the iPads that we want to assign to the gate group. To do that, we're going to go to the second tab. So we have mobile device group as our first tab. Assignments is our second tab. And there are only four iPads in this group. Now please remember at your school, you'll have as many iPads in here as your students have. So if your student population is 400, you might have 300 iPads in this group. So um, while this is a little time consuming, it only has to be done one time, uh, what you want to do is you want to find the iPads that are in the group. You can either search down just visually looking for each iPad and putting a check box in the, box in the one that it applies to, or you do have a search box up here which says filter results. So if I had a list of the iPad serial numbers that were going into this group, I could type it in here. I could type in the entire serial number or if I just wanted to do part of it. I'm just going to put in part of it and hit enter to get the search to come back. There's the iPad I want so I'm going to click on it and hit save. If I had more to do, I could edit again and add more iPads or delete them. To edit your group, you can either click the edit button in the bottom right hand corner or you can hit the letter E on your keyboard. So I just hit the letter E and I'm going to add one more to this group. So let's say I want to add the first one and delete the fourth one because our gate group has changed. And I will click save. Remember this isn't Google Drive. We do have to hit save. And then when we're done, simply hit the Done button. Again, what you learn to do today is you learn how to create a static mobile device groups. And this is similar to using tags in Meraki, except we just had to define what it was. We created our group. We assigned iPads to that group. So now when you have an app and you're ready to push it out, you can push it out to just a group that you have created. If you have any questions, be sure to let your instructional technology specialist know and they can help you out. Thanks for watching.